<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you how to find the equilibrium concentration of each species once it's reached dynamic equilibrium, um, when x is not small enough to ignore. And in this video, we'll be using the quadratic formula to solve for x. All right, so for a reaction, we have an equilibrium constant of 255 at 1,000 Kelvin for the following reaction. And it says if the reaction mixture initially, always highlight that word, contains a carbon monoxide concentration of 0.15 molar and a chlorine gas concentration of 0.175, what are the equilibrium concentrations of each of the species at equilibrium? And remember I said, anytime you hear that question asked, what are the equilibrium concentrations? Then you wanna think rice table. Okay, so let's write that out. Let's design our table. Reaction first. and then the initial concentrations that were given. And then the change. Remember reactants are decreasing over time. Always look at the balanced chemical equation, so it's a minus one X, minus one X, and then a plus one X. For the product. And to find the concentrations of equilibrium, we add up the initial and change. And 0 plus 1x is 1x. We set that equal to the equilibrium constant expression. That's always what over what? Good, products over reactants. So I like to derive that first. And remember, you're always plugging in equilibrium concentrations here. And so we will be plugging in our algebra expressions that we derived in the rice table at equilibrium. Remember in the previous video, <clears throat> we always like to see if x is small enough to ignore. And so anytime you see a plus something x, like plus 1x, plus 2x, or if you see minus 1x, minus 2x, or so on and so forth, then that means that term's almost zero, and maybe we could try to ignore it. So you can always test that out first, and then solve for x. Um, when I do that, so basically I take 255 and I multiply it by 0.15 times 0.175 to solve for x, then I get x is equal to 6.693. Now if I were to divide that by 0.15 molar, let's say, remember you divide by the um, the initial concentration times 100% and you're gonna get some crazy number that's definitely not less than 5%. So X is not small enough to ignore. So make sure you remember how it needs to be less than 5% to ignore X, right? So in that case, we're gonna have to do the full algebra here and let's go ahead and rewrite the equation again. So I'm going to just say x over 0 0.150 minus x times 0.175 minus x is equal to 255. I need to do FOIL. 
at the bottom here, multiply this out. So that is always the first multiply together, outside, inside, last. So the x over 0 0.02625 minus 500x zero zero minus 0.175x plus x squared is equal to 255. So that's after I've done FOIL. I get this equation here. I'm going to continue to simplify as I'm trying to get us into a quadratic formula. And so therefore, I have x over x squared minus 0.325x, so combining like terms, plus 0 0.02625 is equal to 255. I'm going to multiply this entire equation on both sides, so to bring it up kind of on the top there. So when I do that, I get 255x squared minus 82.875x plus 6.69 Three seven five is equal to x. Now remember to do the quadratic, you need it equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract minus one x on this side. Put it, bring it over there. So then I get two hundred and fifty five x squared minus eighty three point eight seven five x plus 6.69375 is equal to zero. And this looks like ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So in this case here, a is 255, B is a negative 83.875, and C is 6.69375. You will need to learn the, if you don't already know, the quadratic, and let me write it actually up here to save us some space here the quadratic equation, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So you will get two solutions because you'll do plus and minus. Now, um, some kind of word of advice for you. Um, when you have something like b here, we're going to take the square of that. Always put B in parentheses before you raise it to that power. If you don't, then your calculator won't take into account the negative properly and it just, it could mess everything up. So make sure you put your B in parentheses and then raise it to the square. And so what I like to do, I have a graphing calculator, so if you do, um, First off, you may be able to use your graphing calculator to solve for quadratic, and you don't have to go through this whole process. I'm okay with that. Um, I always do it manually just because that's how I was trained. Um, but basically, I solve for this term, b squared minus 4ac, and take the square root of that, and you can store that in your calculator if you have a graphing calculator. And then that just makes um, the math that much easier and that much faster. So make sure you definitely practice this. You get used to your calculator so you feel confident um, that you're plugging it in correctly. You're not getting any weird calculator errors um, because that's always disheartening when you're like, oh my goodness, like I'm not getting the right answer and it just ends up being some sort of calculator error. All right, so the two solutions um, that I obtained when I solved for x using um, the quadratic, I got x is equal to point. 
0.13622 or x is equal to 0.19269. And students are always like, well, which one is it? Like, you know, I get two different values and I have to choose. Well, one of the values will always give you a negative equilibrium concentration. And we can never have that happen. You never can have a negative equilibrium. And so the one that would do that for us is that 0 0.192. You can imagine if you took 0.175 minus 0 0.192, you would get a negative 0 0.017, right? So we can't use this one because it gives a negative concentration. So therefore, x must be equal to the 0 0.13622. And that's what we will plug in here to figure out our equilibrium concentrations. So your final answers should be for the product, you would have a 0.136 molar. For carbon monoxide, you should get 0 0.1500 minus 0.13622 is equal to 0 0.0138 molar. And for chlorine gas, you should have 0 0.175. Minus 0 0.13622 is equal to 0 0.0388 molar. Remember that we always need to ask ourselves does our answer make sense, right? Based on our knowledge of the theory of equilibrium constants and what they tell us, does this make sense once we reach dynamic equilibrium? So the equilibrium constant is 255. Does this reaction favor products or does it favor reactants? It definitely favors products. Okay, it's greater than one. So when you have an equilibrium constant greater than one, we're favoring products. So in the end, once we do all of our calculations, we would expect to have a higher concentration of products at equilibrium than the reactants. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.